the head in Aranaum, we are able to feed up to 400 head of cattle with one machine. It's a heavy duty machine. It's made for the world market. Um, we have uh, machines all around the world working now, and it's great to work with this machine. Um, the potential of the Aranaum is that we have two laying augers. We can cut fiber with the machine. This is very important for farms like here in Slovenia at Napotlik. They feed hay TMR and it's very important that we can cut the hay and make it short that the cows can not, not select the feed. The mixing body is a double layer iron, one layer with normal, normal iron and the other layer is uh, stainless steel. Also at the ores, we can watch inside them later. Um, the augers are also made with stainless steel and there are knives on it and it mixes always to the middle. It's called mole cutting system and with this uh, mixing system we can cut fiber and that's very important for us because we want to um, make sure that every cow gets the same diet and there will be no selection. This is very important in times where it's very hot during the summer times. We don't can have that, that the cows to select the feed. This means makes problems with the, with the digesting system of the cows. Um, the Aranom is an automated feeding system. It has a feed kitchen where it starts to take the, the feed. Starts always with the hay, then the concentrates, and then the vitamins. It can make um, different um, rations during the day. We can feed up to 20 different groups, 20 different receipts, and you can feed them as often as you want per day. Here on this farm, it is so that the cows are fed eight times per day, and between the feeding times, the feed will be pushed. Our feeding robots are suitable for every size of farms, also for small scale farms. And um, for example, in my sale area, my smallest customer has eight cows and our biggest customer is in Texas, they have, it has 1,400 cows. The great benefit of our Aranom is that we have four cubic meters. All our other marketing uh, market competitors have just two cubic meters. Here we are in the feed kitchen of the Aranom feeding system. We have here two different uh, forage bunkers. Um, every farmer can choose between big and smaller uh, forage bunkers and you can have as much as you want and we have different kinds for silage for hay and here also we have two types of concentrates in the back and one type of for minerals and vitamins and you can also choose water or liquid feeds. Um, every farmer can make the feed kitchen as big as he wants and this is very important for us because um, every farm is different and so here we have two bunkers for the different cuts of the hay and for the future we can increase it with maybe one, one or two more forage bunkers. What is also very important is that during the mixing process our feeding robot is um, taking the energy directly from the net and not through the battery. So very good is if you have uh, solar power on the roof of the housings you can use the Aranom as battery saving system during the day, which means you can use the energy for mixing and feed pushing during, during the night. This is very efficient and this lowers the costs on the farms when you compare it to normal feeding systems. Today, pri načrtu novega hreva smo se mi odločili tudi da bomo posodobili način krmljenja. Uh, namreč predtem smo krmili z uh, krmilno prekolico s traktorjem in smo se odločili za avtomatski način krmljenja, torej za krmnega robota. Um, in ta namen smo tudi že hlev projektirali uh, z nekoliko ožim podnikom, uh, da je prilagojen temu načinu kr krmljenja. Um, nekako odločitev je pa padla za uh, podjetje Ketvin, za robota Aranom, uh, ker je nekak zelo primeren za naš način krmljenja, torej za semeno uh, prirejo. Uh, dost velika je posoda, uh, tudi ležeči valji uh, za mešanje krme in rezanje um, so bolj primerni uh, za seno, tako da je to uh, za enkrat se je skazalo, da je bila kar prava odločitev. 
Torej, pre nam imamo šest skupin za krmljenje. To je ena prednost avtomatskega krmljenja. Vsako skupino lahko damo različni recept. In pač različne ure, ob katerih se krmijo. En recept imamo za krave moznice. Te se krmijo nekje osemkrat do devetkrat na dan. To potrebi. Potem imamo en recept za presušene krave. Ter potem posamezni recepti za različne kategorije telic in telet. Torej od najmlajših pa tam dobrejih telic. Vsak imajo posebni recept in za vsake zmeša posebej eno lončnico in krmi tudi večkrat na dan. To je ena prednost, torej vsaka skupina lahko ima posebni recept in pa krmljenje večkrat na dan. Kar pomeni, da imajo večkrat na dan svežo krmo v jasli, ni toliko prebiranja, ni ostankov krme in ni sploh za poletnem času, ni pregrevanja v jasli. Pri kravah se je to zdaj, mi smo štartali s tem krmljenjem pred tremi meseci, torej nekje konec junija, tik pred nastopom tiste hude vročine letošnje in se je že pri kravah izkazalo, da v bistvu ni bilo zmanjšega zauživanja krme, vse skozi čez celo poletje so normalno pojedle ves obrok. Tudi mlečnost se je obdržala čez celo poletje konstantna, kar tudi nekako pripisujemo temu novemu načinu krmljenja. Krmimo samo suhe komponente, seno, različne kvalitete sena, različne košne, potem zraven še dehidrirana na lucerna, pa potem različne komponente žit, koruza, ječmen in pa vitamini, minerali, soda, apnenec. In pa nekje pri kravah ta obrok zadostuje nekje za 26 litrov mleka. Če rečemo še o količini dela, ki je potrebno, mogoče omečkeno prehranimo seveda pri delu vsakodnevnem. Sploh, če bi računali, če bi hotel krmiti osemkrat na dan, bi lahko bil cel dan v hlevo. Tako pa enkrat na dan pripravimo krmo v zalogovnike. To traja nekje 15 minut vzame na dan in to je v bistvu dnevno delo, ki ga pravimo za krmljenje.